Hi, everybody. Good evening to all of you. Today we have the writing task of uh, Mrs. Janet Craven. So this is a letter to a physiotherapist. Her name is Ms. Riley. So here we need to outline Mrs. Janet Craven's condition and requesting follow-up physiotherapy. So we are writing to Jessica Riley, the physiotherapist. So let's see the picture in detail. You can see from the very beginning. Um, your date today is 5th December 2020. You are a neurology nurse, neurology ward nurse in Chaston, Chaston Field Hospital. And you are responsible for the care of Ms. Janet Craven, who was admitted following a transient ischemic attack. 69 old, Craven. She is also from Chaston Field. She is a retired lab worker. And uh, her husband is a semi retired engineer. Three children, all married. And uh, we have to look further, I mean, further information which strikes. Um, yes, we have hypertension 2010. Mm, now we do have uh, 30.6 BMI, weight loss recommended, pulmonary embolism, we have 2017, a significant things only we have to look at. And there was something here that was depression here. And you can say, yeah, it's here somewhere. Yeah. No depression and she's on uh, citalopram. So we have hypertension here and uh, she's having a, a higher weight. It's 30.6, it's nearly obese. And she has related problem, pulmonary embolism, depression. So we are writing to physiotherapists. So we are not going to uh, go in detail with the medication and the medication chart here. So we have uh, to give the background information, outline the background information of Janet Craven. So what happened to her when she came to the hospital? Okay. So um, that's, we need to brief all these things here, a lot of things there, we need to brief all these things. So when she came, she was 32.0, she's obese and she has an elevated BP. Okay, so you have left ventricular hypertrophy, and she did echocardiogram. So we have segmental wall abnormalities, mitral regurgitation, aortic regurgitation, tricuspid regurgitation, blood pressure under control, diagnosis, transient ischemic event admitted to neurology ward. Inpatient physiotherapy helped with ambulation. Very important. We have given discharge 5th December. So that's today's date. Continue previous medication. 
low cholesterol, low fat diet, physiotherapy to improve the muscle strength and flexibility, balance and coordination. You have to write to the physio that is Jessica Rayleigh. Now, Jessica Rayleigh is a therapist, just for physiotherapy, 89 school or Chesterfield. It's all near place. Okay, so she is from Chesterfield. Now, uh, the date is on 5th December 2020. Okay. Uh, then you have to address this is Mrs. Riley, Mrs. Janet Craven, aged 60, 68. I'm writing to refer Mrs. Janet Craven, who suffered a recent transient ischemic attack. So what happened to her? This is to refer Janet Craven, who suffered a recent transient ischemic attack. She requires your assistance to address her mobility problems and muscle weakness following her discharge today. So your assistance, physiotherapist, needs to uh, address her, to assist her, to address her mobility problems. See, she has some mobility problems after the transient ischemic attack and muscle weakness, okay? And she's getting discharged today. Mrs. Craven presented to our facility with a difficulty in talking, numbness and right-sided weakness. So uh, how she was presented to our facility is very clearly written. She had problems in conversing ideas, she had numbness and right side weakness. A series of specific investigations were performed after the presentation. Subsequently, a series of specific investigations were performed on her including a CT scan and an echocardiogram, which confirmed left, ven left ventricular hypertrophy. Yes, thank you. So we have briefed it. We just need to outline it. We had the presentation like this. We uh, have gone with some specific investigations. CT scan, echocardiogram, and we confirmed the problem left ventricular hypertrophy. After confirming the attack, the attack, transient ischemic attack, she was treated conservatively at the hospital along with physiotherapy, which focused on improving her ambulation. So we have treated her conservatively at the hospital. After con uh, confirming the transient ischemic attack. And she was given physiotherapy to improve her mobility. Okay, so this is to be written mobility, that's better. Yes. <clears throat> so who is Miss Craven? It's a retired lab worker who lives with her husband. She's a semi-retired engineer. They have three children, but stay in different locations locally after their marriage. So the social condition, only her husband is there. She is a retired lab worker. Her husband is a semi-retired engineer. Three children are there, but they are not staying there. She has hypertension and has complaints related to pulmonary embolism. 
since 2010 and 2017 respectively, for which she's on regular medications. So we have found uh, some sort of depression too. So uh, do we need to write depression here? Because we have uh, a physiotherapist here um, and uh, three children are not there at home. Mm, her husband is a semi-retired uh, engineer. So do we need to write um, depression? Let's go back and see, because if it is, uh, yeah, 2019, she is on depression and sick no plan for six months. So I think she's depressed and we need, we have uh, some relevance there to inform the physiotherapist had just, uh, she won't be that much cooperative. She won't be that much active because she has depression. Mm. So she also has depression yes and depression uh, for the past six months M O N T H S. She also has been has been treated. for depression for the past six months. Okay. So I can write the BMI somewhere here because it's something which we need to highlight. And in view of the above information, it would be appreciated if you could provide her support to improve her muscle strength and flexibility. She also needs your assistance to enhance her gait and muscle coordination. Of not her current BMI is 32. That's it. Now the outline is almost clear in 194 words. So we have uh, written, we have outlined the condition, what happened to her and for what reasons she needs assistance because she is depressed, she is not active, three children, they are not there. So there are no one, no, uh, there, there, there's no one to help her in assisting with mobility. Her husband is also a, a retired, uh, semi-retired engineer. Um, she has problems of hypertension, pulmonary embolism. She's on medications for all these things. But right now she's having the ischemic attack too. So this is the reason why she needs assistance from you because her muscle strength is not so good. She's not flexible. 
and she has problems with her muscle coordination and over that she is obese too so even though when we look at the question we not uh, we don't say something which is to be written to a physiotherapist we have a lot of things when we present it in a different way we have a lot of things which physiotherapist needs to know here not directly related to the muscle strength and all but everything is interrelated so when we have the neurological problems you have automatically problems with your muscle coordination you be weak and you do have the family in the family there is no one to help she is little bit older and she has multiple ailments she is obese too all these things are relevant for physiotherapist so many of the candidates just they when they look at the case not it's simple nothing is there it's uh, uh, if if i want to write to a physiotherapist many of students they'll tell if i want to write to a physiotherapist actually uh, the matter is just oh, you know that there is actually there is very little matter there so what can i write there so we have written around 190 words here so we have outlined her condition what we have done is we have outlined her condition given her background all the medical ailments and her requirements which we focused on the physiotherapist in particular rather than to someone else so we have uh focused on a physiotherapist a physiotherapist for a physiotherapist i need to present the letter like this so this is what we have done that so it is actually uh not i'm telling it's a, it's a, it's an acceptable letter please don't think that is a perfect letter so we do have uh, correction still we can upgrade this thing to the next level okay thank you